When enough people hit you up asking you to make cowboy butter and show them how to use it, well, come on, we're nice guys. Of course we're gonna say yes. I mean, I'm nice, and Chance is nice. Okay, Max is nice too. He's not the nicest, but we love him all the same. So here's the deal. Cowboy butter, that nobody's really certain of the origin, came to life on the internet last year sometime. And by last year, I mean 2022, if you're watching this in 2023. And it just kind of exploded. When something explodes, I'm like, I don't really care about it. I mean, let all, let all those people do it. I don't want to be part of that. I'm not a hanger on, hanger on, I'm not a follower. <sighs> That everybody's going on about how good it is and now people start asking we want to listen to you guys sam will you guys show us how to make it and what is it so i got my own version and it's closed it's freaking delicious we're going to show you three ways to do it the first thing that's going to go on is chicken legs and we're going to butterfly them sort of makes them even better and here's something else about chicken legs that's a chicken leg. It's hefty. There's a lot of meat to this. It's going to eat really well. And I know everybody's got this love of chicken wings. Boys, you like the wings? Love them. The wings. You would have to say, though, there's definitely less meat on a wing than there's on a leg, correct? Correct. Definitely. Well, check this out. Today, whatever today is, in 2023, chicken legs at the store when I bought them were $2.99 a pound. And chicken wings, the smaller thing with hardly any meat on it, $4.99 a pound. Two dollars more a pound. So when you take this guy and you butterfly and you open him up, you get way more meat for way less money. Why wouldn't you do it? Yes, you could just cook them like this, but the way when you... Well, let me show you, because it's better. And then once they're on the grill, then we make the compound butter. Then we show you how to use them. Three different ways. This will be one. Here we go. Chicken, legs, knife, and this little uh, double paper towel will serve as my operating table just to keep things from moving around. So here's what you do. You grab one of the legs, and to me, there's sort of an obvious front and back, right? This to me is kind of the back. This to me is the front. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my knife and cut sort of right along the bone here, like this, exposing where the bone is. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut down right alongside of the bone, not through the meat, just like this. You don't want to come through the other side just like that and then you do it over here again down 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 like that and look what you've got and you turn it over now look at how this is going to cook that's just a ton of meat it really is it's going to cook easier it's going to cook a little faster but you're left with this it's just a superior way so put them back on come back to your next guy front and back on the back side do what i did cut down like this, expose, 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 find the bone right alongside. Remember, not through the meat at the bottom, just down, opening him up, this side. And when you've got this guy done, and you're all proud of your work, take a look at him, continue on, and finish off the rest. And we're done, just like that. Look it, they're perfect. Only one thing's wrong. I don't need them on the paper towel because I want to put some oil on them. So we'll give them a quick flip. Great. Now we can oil them just like this. Back side, front side, over here. Now we're not going to add any seasoning because our cowboy butter, our cowboy butter is going to add, oh, plenty of flavor. Trust me, you will not be lacking for flavor by the time I'm done with you. And if these guys are set and butterflied or filleted or whatever you want to call it, we're ready to get them on the grill and then the butter will happen. And with a medium hot grill that's been oiled, on we go, skin side down. Just like that. They kind of look like flowers, don't they? That wasn't rhetorical. Yes. Yeah. Exactly like a flower. You guys, look, I like to hear myself talk, but I also like to hear people respond, damn it. Everybody will go on. Now, listen, chicken takes a bit to cook. You don't want to blaze away and scorch all the outside before it gets done. And even though we've butterflied them, we're going to be better off, but you just want to take your time. So I'm okay with the turning method, and we're going to do that quite a lot. Look, how long has it been on? 20, 30 seconds? And look, we're starting to get a little color, and that's great. But so we're going to be on here a few minutes we'll flip them over if things get too hot this side is not on i can bring the pieces over close the lid and use it more like an oven but if you're okay with knowing that i'm going to take care of the chicken and cook it the right way we can go back to the other side and start making our butter i'll show you our progress as we go this is a little pot it's on low heat this is a stick 
of butter, one half cup. I like to do this on low because I don't want this like turning to liquid right away. I wanna add everything, mix it, and then keep it kind of thick-ish. So everything goes into the pot. One stick of butter, zest of one half a lemon, and then juice of half a lemon. Beautiful. And we continue. Four cloves of garlic. Un, deux, trois, quatre. A tablespoon of Dijon, like that. A tablespoon of prepared horseradish. Not horseradish cream, but prepared horseradish. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Quarter teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. Quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. About a half a tablespoon of dried thyme. Teaspoon of soy sauce. I love my soy sauce. And now, diced red onion, finely chopped parsley, chopped green onion. All of these go in. This gets mixed. We're almost at the point where the butter is melty. <laughs> Little hit of salt and pepper, not too much. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is cowboy butter. Look, I know there was a bunch of ingredients, but it is a flavor bomb in your mouth. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna kill the heat. The beautiful thing is, let's say you make it in the morning, it starts to solidify, give it a little heat and get it back like this. This is perfect for brushing or dunking or whatever. But while well, we've got this made, we can go back to our chicken. Let's have a look. That's cooking beautifully, beautifully. Oh, so happy. So happy, I'm a happy boy. Now, if you put too much butter on these guys right now, they're just gonna flare up and I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna wait, we're gonna let this go till they're almost cooked. And you wanna cook a chicken leg to about 175 degrees. So you can see on this side, we're still pink. We've got, you know, a few more minutes to get there. But then the magic is gonna happen with the cowboy buttery goodness. And while we're waiting, let's make some cowboy butter garlic bread because it's gonna be insane. So I have a little baguette that I cut in half. Now here is our butter. And if it was a little bit colder, it'd be maybe easier to do this. You could spread it, but this will still work. So we're just gonna spoon this all the way down. Let it soak in a little bit. Oh shit, if you could smell. Great stuff, great stuff, great. And you want kind of a nice amount. Gooey, buttery garlic bread is really the way to go. Now, you could easily stop here, put it in the oven, and it would be great. But I'm gonna add some nice Parmesan right over the top, like this. My broiler is on to high. I'm gonna put these in about eight inches away from the heat source. Gonna take about five minutes, and I'll be back. And after about uh, five minutes, look, holy smokes. Can you believe it? Yes, I can believe it. So let's take it off and cut it. It's hot. Yikes. Let's cut. That's the, that. Crunch, 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 crunch. There you go. Cowboy butter garlic fricking bread. Garlic fricking cowboy, just cowboy butter garlic bread. Cowboy butter bread. Cowboy butter cheese bread, damn it. And look how beautiful it is. And I'm gonna taste it, but I'd be a dick if I tasted alone. So Max and Chansey, pieces for you boys. Chancellor. Max got a bigger piece. Come on, you're younger. You gotta work for those bigger pieces. Boys, on three. One, two, three. Bon appetit. Oh shit, holy crap. You know, Hot dog. the lemon, the Dijon, all the spices. And look, look how beautiful. Everything's in there, everything. We can finish the chicken. And with the chicken almost done, now we can start to baste the bit. And now you'll get some flame. But this is also when you're gonna get some great color. Oh, I love this, I love this. Now, of course, the second I turn it over, that's when you're gonna get some fire. So let's do that. Look, true to my word. I'm not a liar. And we're gonna give them one nice baste on each side. I'm gonna flip back so this top side gets to have the sauce burn in a little bit. And then you'd always serve it with a little extra cowboy butter on the side. Oh, holy smokes, guys. You're in for love here. You're in for love. So just back and forth it a couple times. This is what it's all about. You see what's going on. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna give it one more paint on this top side, flip it back down, let it get a little more color and pull it off. And here we, oh, come on. And one of my hard and fast rules, whenever you take anything off the grill that you've been basting, one more baste before you let your people eat it. 
And in this case, my people are going to be Max and Chance. And Look how beautiful. Look how much meat there is. And don't forget, two bucks a pound cheaper than those little dinky wings. I'm all about uh, train chicken leg from now on. I'm all team chicken leg. But let's get ourselves a bite, shall we? Which guy looks good? This guy. Ay, ay, ay. And look what you can do. Straight meat. Straight meat. Are these too big for you guys? Can you handle those? Now I gotta get myself a piece because you guys got all the good sides. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks for waiting, Max. <laughs> all right, one, two, and we go. Wait, let me Holy ass. Chance, go. Amazing. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's happened here? The chicken was butterflied. It cooked beautifully. You saw how it comes out. All this meat on this, so easy to eat. Cooks better, cooks more evenly, and then the ridiculous nonsense of the cowboy butter just takes it over the edge. And if you want to have extra on the side so your people can dip into it, then go for it because it's all about you. And what's up next is the shrimp. Did I even say shrimp? Shrimp. This is like... Uh, start to finish in about one minute. Seriously. If it's not obvious, that's a screaming hot pan. I have a stopwatch here. It put some oil in and we'll start counting, see how long this takes. Go. Little bit of oil just to start the shrimp. And these are cooking very fast. The shells are on. These are 3140s. I'm gonna give them about so uh, 20 seconds before I introduce they're cowboy buddy. And I love what this heat is gonna do to the shrimp. By the way, I love what the heat's gonna do to the butter. And by the way, the shrimp, at this point, it's been 30 seconds. They're already halfway cooked. Now we'll add some of this, a couple good tablespoons of this nonsense. It's gonna smoke. It's gonna be great. We're all gonna be okay. I'll get one more little splash of oil. And five, four, three, two, one, stop the clock. A minute and nine seconds from start to finish. Let's go. And here we go. Shrimp go in. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I need to say it, but holy shit, the smell. There we go. And if you had a little bit extra that you wanted to do this with, just to let it burn in, just to let it enhance, you can do that. But there's nothing left to do, including putting like green onion or something on top like I normally would because it's already in there. The work is done for you. Here's what I like. Well, the smell, yes, the looks, yes. I know I'm gonna love the taste because I'm all in on this. But what I like about these is the shells are on, so they've now become like the world's greatest peel and eat shrimp. And here's what you do. So you just take the shell like this, you hold, like the fat end, and you squeeze where the tail meets the shell, and look it, that's it right there. And I'm telling you something, the high heat of the pan is one thing, but the shrimp is protected by the shell a little bit. So now all you have is this amazingly perfect single bite, one minute. Sorry, I lied. A minute and nine seconds start to finish. Yes, the pan was already hot. So how much time is that gonna take normally? Is it gonna take two minutes? So you're, oh, you're all in? Look, here's the move. Make the cowboy butter today, put it in a little deli, and stick it in your fridge or your freezer. And then you're done. And then when you want some, out it comes. When you want it so that you can dip luxuriously, sensually into it, just warm it up a little bit in a small pot. It's that simple. Sensually? Sensually! I know what I'm saying. You get sensual with your sauce? But these guys, these peel and eat business like this, it's the best thing ever. And by the way, you can eat the entire shell. Lots of people do it. A lot of people don't like it. You can if you want to. It's fun to do. Here's what we've learned. Chicken wings, expensive. Chicken legs, not nearly. Butterfly them, cook them the way we did. Put this on it. You'll be very, very happy. By the way, you could put this cowboy butter in with some just cooked pasta. Hang on to a little bit of the pasta water, add a little cheese. Holy S, would that be good? Okay, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for hanging out to the end. We appreciate you guys. Go to shopstcg.com for all your cooking guy nonsense needs. We'll see you next time right here. I'm like an announcer from the 40s.